This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purpose only. Welcome to Bitfumes. This is Laravel 7 installation tutorial. I am your host Sarthok and let's talk about Laravel and how we can set up Laravel, install Laravel on our machine. Okay, so this is Laravel website, laravel.com and Laravel is a PHP framework which is gaining popularity day by day and it is the most popular framework on GitHub. So it is the most popular. So think about the power and the reach of this Laravel framework. So let's just quickly see how we can get started with Laravel 7 because Laravel 7 is just released today and it is having a great features which i am very excited to share with you although if you want to know what's new in laravel 7 you can check out the link in the description to have all the list of features and the dedicated videos so let's click on documentation and here we have the installation part to install laravel on any machine you just need php and the bunch of php extensions so firstly how you can get the php and it doesn't matter if you are on windows or if you are on mac or linux you can install xamp so you can just install xamp or if you want you can install vamp also so i like xamp so you can just say xamp and go to down downloads and here we have and you can see we require 7.2.5 and greater so we have 7.2.28 which is not required so 7.3.15 will be good so you can download this according to the operating system you have either window linux or mac so i already have php on my system so if i go on the terminal i can see php hyphen v which gives me 7.3.14 is the current php version i have so you have php now next you need to install the composer composer is a dependency manager which which is just like a npm for javascript pip for python similarly we have a composer for php dependency manager or you can say package manager so if i go on the doc documentation of uh, this composer or the website of composer you can see we have a download button and you can just copy paste all these things on your terminal and then you can have the composer on your machine or if you go to get started then you can have all other options for linux mac unix you can have some other things and if you are using windows then you can just install composer setup.exe file install it and boom you will have the composer so again once again i will go and say composer and yes you can see we have the composer which looks like this by the way if you are typing composer here and it says composer command not found what you need to do you need to just google composer not found and you can just go to any stack overflow make sure it is uh, on the stack overflow you can get good answer so go to stack overflow and find the appropriate answer cool so we have a php we have a composer and then what we need to do we need to install the composer installer what is the composer installer it is like a command line to run laravel create command so let's use this composer global require command to have that so if i run this now it will going to install it because i already install it so it will say nothing to install or update so what if i say laravel and hit enter yeah you can see it says laravel installer 3.0.1 and which looks like this once again if you are running laravel and it says laravel not found once again you need to do laravel not found simple and go to stack overflow recommended stack overflow next you can see it says nothing to install or update because i already have so what you need to do next it's super easy you just need to say laravel the new and the project name so i can say laravel new and i can say it like s-e-v-e-n seven super easy and no need to say any dev kind of thing so just laravel new 7 and now it's installing 
so it's installing from every kind of packages it require all the things from the internet and after that it's doing something and then generating env environment file and boom everything is done it says application ready build something amazing okay we will create or we will build something amazing next we need to go inside the seven directory which is not the s not the seventh directory or number of seven it's just the name given seven okay so here i can say php artisan so php artisan is a command line system for laravel so with the use of php artisan if i hit enter we have a bunch of command which makes our life super super easy you can create a file you can create a mock-up of file just by using make command then you can do all other things with the command line which is called php artisan and to prove that laravel is installed and it is running we can say php artisan serve it is serve not server it is just serve so if i hit enter you can see we have a localhost 8000 so yes we can open this on localhost 8000 and congratulations you can see we have successfully installed laravel 7 how i can prove that this is laravel 7 i can quit it by pressing ctrl c and i can say php artisan hyphen hyphen then version and you can see it says 7.0.1 that's exactly we want so now once again i run the server and yeah you can see we have this and one important thing very very important thing to keep in mind that you can have laravel on any place of your computer it doesn't need to be inside the ht docs folder of xamp so if you are migrating from php to laravel or from code igniter to laravel then you probably i have seen many developers are doing this what they are doing they put laravel inside their ht docs it's not required yes you can have that there but it's too deep inside the folder so why not have a project directory and put all your laravel there and whenever you are working on uh, any laravel application just say php artisan serve it will start the server on that spot and then boom everything is there so i hope you got the point what we need php composer and that's it <laughs> everything is done so now we have a laravel up and running we can start learning about laravel 7 from the next episode